dealing with a narcissist, you have to realize these few key factors. One, the narcissist does not have your best interest. Two, the narcissist is always planning. There is never a time where they are not planning. Three. The narcissist is the ultimate, the truest loser. They don't have anything going on in their lives besides trying to destroy yours. You're not going to win anything by arguing with a low-minded, solipsistic individual. You wouldn't win anything anyways by saying anything to anyone. You don't win prizes from arguments. All you win is they gain energy from your distress. That's what you win. You might feel high and mighty that you have exuded all of your verbal stuff towards this negative entity, which is the average narcissist, whether female or male. In this particular situation, male. You might feel that you're winning for that moment, but you have granted the narcissist to engage in bad behavior and to engage in destroying you. How you win over the narcissist will come after this. By arguing with the narcissist, or even simply stating your point of view. You are feeding the monkey brain. You are giving blood to the lizard mind. You are giving nectar to the bee. Any verbal language that comes out of your voice after the narcissist has acted like a buffoon or has blatantly showed you disrespect. By you reacting, all you're doing is basically pushing a button for him to go. Yes, I said him. We're using males in this situation because of my um, current state of living. The narcissist will not stop. The narcissist cannot stop, for if it does stop, it wouldn't have anything at all going on, like nothing. The narcissist uh, is not interested in gadgets. Uh, they're not interested in cell phones too much. Uh, they're only interested in seeing your negative reaction. You might have a positive reaction, dance in front of them if they're acting crazy, but what they'll do is they'll take your happiness and they will misconstrue it and say, oh, you're, you're, you're giving me attitude. You're giving me flashbacks so I have access to say something negative or say anything or try to get you fired or anything. See, the narcissist cannot function unless you are dysfunctioned. You see what I'm saying? So, if you are like me, and we're jumping the gun a bit, but if you're like me and you've had to deal with a narcissist for 30 years of your life, you develop a, a kind of understanding. You develop this mentality that could only be grown and honed and toned 
from dealing with the narcissist. The narcissist does not understand that you make certain individuals stronger and you also give purpose in life to those who would be here and probably be prosperous but not appreciated. The narcissist doesn't understand that he is playing a key role in the evolution of my mentality. I applaud the narcissist for taking me through these test trials and me passing them every time. And so I'm going to give you the key in the first lesson in this 10 minute video. Pay attention. The first thing you need to understand also is that your verbal words that you are saying to this narcissist has to be clear and precise. You see, when the narcissist flares up, they are not, they're not really thinking. See, they already have a plan and they don't expect to fail. You see what I'm saying? The plan is to probably get you into a situation where you're going to get messed up. Or the plan is to say something to spark you. I want you to know something. That is a reptilian brain mentality. These people are possessed with demons. Okay? Pay attention. The normal average person wants to make it in life. And they kind of generally don't really want to interfere with other people. And if they do, um, it'll be on a positive note. But the narcissist has its specific targets. They will not do it to every single person. They have some sort of clarity and understanding that if they do this to every person, they won't achieve um every positive aspect or any positive aspect in life. They understand fully clear and well what they're doing when they are trying to flare up, bombshell on you, and make you angry. Okay? Because they know this, this is why I call them reptilian evil-minded brains. They are taken over by a a entity that gives them only bad options. And so instead of the right brain of that person to come back to reality and say, hey, I'm going to die one day. This guy's going to die one day. Everything that we're doing here right now really doesn't exist. Pay attention. These hands that you're seeing coming at the screen and the screen that you're watching right now, whether on your computer or your phone, will not exist someday. The narcissist cannot see this. They feel that they are going to live forever. And they also feel that their body and their spirit is a particular spirit that could never be erased and is also above yours. Now, knowing all of this in a nutshell, knowing the solipsistic mentality, knowing you cannot change the narcissist, all of this, here's how you conduct yourself. Let's say you are working with the narcissist. First thing, relax. Second thing, Cancel your plans for the end of the day, all right? I will get back to number two. The third thing is to be ready. Be ready at all times for the negative, you know, the negative input that will come. It's coming. It is on its way. You can't stop it. The narcissist is thinking about you right now. 
and how much they don't like you at this very moment. The fourth thing, final, before we get back to number two, which is canceling your plans. You must learn that your opinions are not going to matter to this guy. And so therefore, don't waste your time in small conversations. Don't go out of your way to help this person. And do not, and I repeat, do not tell the narcissist about your positive plans that are coming for the future. Don't give him an inkling that you are happy. Because what the narcissist will do will go out of his way even further to make you unhappy. Pay attention. I've dealt with it for 30 years. The boiling point is today. I have to teach you guys. Let's go back to number two. Canceling your plans. Look. I am not talking about the narcissist of which you can just simply get up and say, F you, I'm out of here. You're a loser. We're dealing with the narcissist that you have to kind of be around in order to make a living. The narcissist that has basically uh, helped you gain housing additions and all of this. Okay, We're talking about the narcissist that has shown you his whole life that he's a narcissist, but now that you have made it, and now that you're growing and you're about to do other things besides deal with them, and they can see that you're getting ready to go, we're talking about the narcissist who just wants you to fail. He is, he's built you up to watch you fail. You see, the narcissist that I'm dealing with will constantly bombard me with oh you're not this you don't you you don't pay attention to this or try to critique me in every single thing that I do and it usually gets at a peaking point at this particular time of year when it's very cold and when the sun goes down early Okay, and so I've downloaded every single aspect that he could have came at. And now what the narcissist has done is move on to a different plan. And you want to know what that is? The narcissist in my particular situation now cannot find anything negative at all. So what they'll do is they'll pry on your past history and try to critique your work from your past history from 10 years ago onto today. The narcissist will flare up like an unbelievable baboon off of any small situation that they feel is postponing the time or anything at all. And so in this particular narcissist that I'm talking about will spend nine hours of their day trying to get you to get upset, therefore, so they can explode on you. My friends, if you don't take these next few key pieces of advice dearly and to your heart, you will always fail at any job you go to. Any relationship that you're in. One. The narcissist is not and does not have the permission to watch you or to um, to break you. You have to be breaking yourself. You understand? Pay attention. Your breaking point, you can have a mental breaking point. But never, ever let it be verbally or shown. You want to know why? Because the narcissist is a snake. They wait for your reaction 
to then give a reaction. You understand? Yes, you're pissed off. Yes, you want to say something. Yes, the situation's effed up and you can't get out of it. But the thing is, you're winning. You're winning times 10. You want to know why you're winning? Is because you have gotten him upset by not doing anything. You got it? Pay attention. You have gotten him upset by passing your own mental test. And therefore, you know you have won once the narcissist comes back with a different tactic. You see, if you paid attention to the beginning, knowing that the narcissist has no life, your negative energy is what he feeds off of. And by you replying to any sort of anything, you will therefore cause a detriment and you will cause a situation to arise. By knowing these three key factors, you will go about your day like this. And whenever that person flares up, you will know those three things are happening. And then you will know how to navigate around this person. Last example. The narcissist likes to create problem. And so therefore, when you know that the narcissist is about to approach or the narcissist is around and you have to go around them, by knowing that they already have a problem for you in store, you therefore have the first tools of success. Pay attention. Because you know that there is an issue, your body is already anted up and ready for the downfall and the downpour. Last thing. What this narcissist in particular does not understand is that you see all that I have around me I have accumulated by being quiet um, by letting ideas pop up and by me just saying we can go with that idea see the narcissist doesn't understand in his particular situation that I knew what his plan was. See, the narcissist gives you things, they tr kind of Indian gift you. They will give you things, so then therefore they are mm, quote unquote allowed to say whatever in their minds, right? But they don't understand, and also the part of it is to say whatever to get you frustrated so that you burn your bridge with them. You see, you can burn a bridge but still be able to cross over it. You can burn a bridge with a narcissist by never, ever, ever, ever letting that person ever get near to your happiness, your personal life, or your business. This person that I'm talking about is so upset that for the whole day I don't say two words to this guy, but a mere yes and no, yes and no. That this narcissist, which you will find, they will run out of ideas. They'll, they'll get a good idea every once in a while. But when it fails once again, once again, once again, you will see the narcissist sit back into that fucking corner. Post right up in that corner. And that narcissist will have nothing to say. Why? Because of the last thing, pay attention. The narcissist is an evil entity that is part of that human psyche. And therefore, that person is not really human. A human being wants positive attributes and a human being knows that life is not forever. But when you have the devil and an evil entity within you, you feel as though, one, you're above all men. Two, you shouldn't have to care about people. And three, you're willing to destroy people. When you have that mentality, you're finished. He doesn't realize that 
I have the key to the kingdom. And all I have to do is be quiet. Learn from me. Learn. Because if you don't learn how to be quiet, you're going to end up like the rest. Oh, I, I got to say what I wanted to say. Yeah, I'm a big man. And now you're broke. And now you're going off to the next narcissist, which is out there. 90% of people are narcissists. So you go to your next boss. And again, the same narcissism, but less pay or some sort of difference. You need to understand that life is not made for your happiness. In order for there to be energy continuously going, there has to be something that it is not wanting to be. Um, the animals in the wild live and they have a different experience of life when they're being chased. They don't think about um, the small, stupid things of me being bored. No, they think about life and they're going and they're going. That is the purpose of the predatory narcissist. They are there to make us realize that there is more to life than just dealing with this monkey brain lizard mentality type of person. And so I want you to stay tuned for part two, three, four, five, six, seven, and beyond with the narcissistic topic because I have more for you to learn from me. This is um, one thing I want you to learn also is that in order to achieve utter happiness with canceling your plans, okay? In order to achieve that, that utter happiness, you have to realize that your plans are not really canceled. You must postpone those plans and rethink those plans as if they are really, are they priority? Are they something that is going to make you money? And by doing this, you will find that the projects that you devote your energy to are immaculate. Immaculate. Like that animation that I made. That was from a trial and an era of just not having time for myself. And eventually, because I wanted to focus on something so deep, I just kept at it. Because I knew that... I would not have a given time in the future to uh, devote my time into it. So thanks for watching this first lecture. The next lecture would be a lot shorter, but I just had to let you know uh, there's a certain aspect of a, a certain particular type of narcissist and how to deal with them.